to talk about road cars. We've been saving <laughs> really well on offer, what's going up the hill. Um, I must suspect you two have, have found it. Maserati MC20, the uh, dynamic debut actually, UK, nice. which was actually what's up with the thing. Hang on, let me check my sympathy app. Um, yes, yeah, it's glamorous. Well, no, we're across it with the year we've had to cars. Everyone's been coming out of Swindon, taking it for a quick burn around the M25 and back. We're seeing them all in uh, manufacturers, batches. What's been catching your eye this morning? Oh, so much electric Polestar 1, the crazy left-hand drive limited edition hybrid. Yes, a lot of money, £139,000, but it does get you a very limited edition. We're bringing the C40 on to the Electric Avenue uh, this week. And obviously, so what they've learned really from Polestar yeah, and uh, taking that into the Volvo. Well, if you go down to the supercar paddock today, you'll see sort of Aston and Ferrari having some sort of like face off across the uh, aisle there with all the latest and great. And Darren Turner, su such a nice bloke, isn't he? You, you thought I knew about him last year, I think, and he just kind of shrugged his shoulders. Ah, it's obviously captive drivers. Um, but, you know, people who say, ah, oh, these branches, you don't have to do it. You know, they're the things that keep the rest of these cars out. And, and it's not a bad car at all. <laughs> It's not. Are you going to drive an SUV? Yeah. Uh, the genius is Matt Becker, the designer. Anyway, for Don't tell him that, I'm sure he's here. No, that's that. That's that 812. Yeah. I mean, it's so quick, this car. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's... The power tweak or the styling upgrade. And that really is a nice thing to get on with Aston Martin racing and the production road cars. Absolutely, Nib. No, you're not. I'm that, just, just a stunning double bubble behind the driver's hair. beautiful iteration of what Aston still do with exterior design. And we see this one. Actually, quite nice to have the window on the first two stages. Yeah, man. Slow speed to still enjoy the car. Truly bonkers. Here we are. Coming out of that car, it's unbelievable, the noise. And we're seeing them getting a little bit quicker now. It was really wet and muddy earlier on, and uh, the track's drying out quite nicely. The cairns there, the buttress is fine, buttress oh, at the back yeah. there. Oh, yeah. This is an SF90 Spider. Probably one of the best things in the house, I have to say. This is my favourite day, though. I'm much more of a fan of the production, new production road car. Oh, obviously, we'll maybe be seeing a fully electric drive before long. What do you think? All that stuff, maximum torque from zero revs, incredible notes. The McLaren Elva, and of course what we've just seen earlier with the aftermarket front speed, all three of the brands occupying this rarefied space with limited as engines. Just amazing performance, especially for the money. Yeah, and unapologetic, unapologetic standing there. Look at the aero, those massive grills. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god. Best of both worlds, aren't we? We get to see. Which is quite an incredible where you think it's gone in the last uh, 10 to 15 years. It's maybe a stylish thing. Oh! 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 O
much luck in these cars. Without that, it's like... Well... Gold wheels for me. I just arrived from Italy yesterday, the MC20. Maserati sort of relaunched into the supercar territory. V6 3-litre, 621 horsepower. I'm um, not quickly, I think proportions are fantastic. Yeah, I agree. We went and looked at that this week, didn't we? Um, um, and that just the, the way it just echoes the best. You don't want to be that person on day one. Yeah. It's really Although good. I did see that uh, crash earlier on the handbells, he managed to just drive away from it. Pretty impressive. It wasn't you? No, no. I don't think you would speak to me again if I put that uh, brand new car into there. Into that? There you go. Well, he's clearly found it as he comes over the finish line. Yeah, I'd like to think that was probably one of the quicks of the finish line of this supercar batch. And of course, they've got this, they've got the lost, knee, uh, the hatch. Um, and then in the next pace setting, which I hope we're going to see, uh, which is the, um, I think this is the M240 uh, iX drive, X9 version of the BMW. But all wheel drive, but with rear bias, with a V8. Yes or no? Well, I think. He's in himself very well, and I'm here on the rear blind there to get picked up quickly because I feel like people are mentioned of the past, and you're seeing this car in the 90s short wheelbase. Yeah, and, um, clearly, you can still get your shopping in the back. And the dog, if you didn't want to He's not hanging around, is he? Come and pass the comms spot there. We not. We not. Absolutely. That's quite nice. Oh yeah, it does make me feel quite easy. It's like one of those, um, what's those trains? I first Ben and I had to take a moment. The R86 here. It's not a GT86. It's a super attractive. Kazoo Racing really has had a great leap in the past couple of years, hasn't it? Everyone from the back on board and buying anything with the GR badge on it. Quite old fashioned pocket rocket. And if it's not, oh there it is, and that's the weird of that, I'm pretty sure it's Jason Stanley, who uh, most people will know if they're... Kind, you could call a wolf in cheap clothing when you saw it, no, that's a quick one. Yeah, it's got that clever little, bit, sort of clever little transmission, hasn't it, where it'll help you with the changes. Here today, it's named after a pub, I just uh, was reading about, the Grenadier, in your Grenadier, of course, the Jim Ratcliffe baby, um, the Grenadier, a pub on which they conceived the car in uh, Night to Be. Isn't it? It's a car for old Defender lovers. Ladder frame chassis, you can put different bodies on this car. It's going to be a car for, for people who like them. And that, they are my brand. Well, I'm just going to stay quiet as Aaron steps off her soapbox. But uh, they're a luxury brand at that, uh, coming out of Korea into Europe. But they seem to have made a really big splash in the last couple of months. Yep, and I think we'll be seeing a lot more from them. And with all GTA cars here, it's there here, of course, in GTA uh, road specifications, so GTA M, which is the two-seater track-focused version. The way there, at the Genesis <laughs> wants to get out of the bridge, can really enjoy this car. Sweet V6 right there. Oh, oh that's now is that about. my race? Yes, it is, isn't it? The land, when the land speed record was set, and that's the sort of detail that sets the Rolls Royce apart. Absolutely. If you want to have the constellation of stars, beautiful. I just love all this stuff. This car, this car almost looks like a concept car, but it's actually a production car, isn't it? It's a fantasy multiple touring car winner. Most interested for putting this car at the hill here. Most powerful production BMW produced 0 to 60 in three seconds. The sun shining and the rain drying all the time. They can make it really show what these could do in a straight line, allowing... ...have a widening portfolio, actually. ...focused, pretty track-focused cars, and can see how And just a wonderful collection... ...all has got to the future of the sport. ...and the top tyres, the way this is being driven. ...the Barbara colour scheme, for the spine built, lots of these cars. Because, you know, 
they were McLaren that pulled the GT out. They were really showing quite like, soft like this monster coming up the middle with that humongous Where do companies like McLaren, and Ferrari, for example, road cars that they can make a race version of? Or are they split? You know, which is the more important market? Yeah, well, they've got to be building the road cars. But also, there's no point in building incredibly hardcore road cars that are about female customers again, but increasingly women own a great deal of personal wealth. They want to spend on the they start two seater sports cars and supercars. Um, and they're not afraid to use them. What do you have, as you say, to go into that market that has really mushroomed in the last two decades? It's actually the likes of, say, Aston Martin with AMR and, and all, all That's at the opposite end of the scale. So, obviously, the SUV coming out from Lamborghini, Ferrari is about We've got Lamborghini, we've got uh, SUVs from Rolls Royce, from Bentley, from everything.